it is Christmas Eve, 3 p.m. Last night, um, my mom and I left the farm to stay the night in town so we could get a shower. We got cleaned up because obviously today is Christmas Eve and uh, tomorrow's Christmas. So of course wanted to be clean and stuff. And yeah, no running water at the farm. So had to do what we had to do. Since we ran out of wood yesterday, we got a load of firewood delivered this morning. So we are definitely set for, at the very least, this weekend and hopefully into some of next week before we get some more. So I feel good about that. At least we have firewood. Otherwise, we could definitely not stay at the farmhouse. The temperature is supposed to drop 30 degrees uh, for, for tonight and all day tomorrow, Christmas Day. So the high for tomorrow, I think, is like 27 and during tonight and tomorrow night it's gonna be in the teens should be an experience so i'll see you guys over there all right guys we made it we're over here at the farm the wind picked up like as soon as we came in so it's still raining it's not frigid cold yet so perfect time to get these wood stoves rolling let me show you guys the wood that we had delivered today how pretty the christmas tree little banister decoration so pretty. All right, check out this wood. This is absolutely our lifeline for the next few days. <laughs> Looks so good. Yes. So happy we got that. Here's the other little tree that I decorated. It's nothing special, but it brings me joy and it smells so good. It's a red cedar from over here at the farm. Frankie knocked over the other one. Um, the pine tree he already knocked that over and the whole bucket was full of water so that fell didn't he elo he's so naughty so my mom and i are splitting up for now she's gonna start the start the wood stove in the uh kitchen and i'm going to get this fox fire started so so in order to get the fire started we always use some old newspaper and these newspapers are so old. This is from uh, Thursday, November 6, 2008. And some of the stuff in here is really neat. Like sometimes I'll just like glance at the headline, but one the other day said um, something about like the small, small PCs have a big future. It was like back when I guess laptops first came out. So crazy. Kind of like, I should be saving a lot of these, but here's some comics. <laughs> We've got so many though, like we have piles and piles. Might end up doing something neat with some of the old ones. But gotta start the fire with some paper. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well let me run through the breeze like the leaves on let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene Like a cool water stream That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road
through the green in the spring Let's go back a ways to the old bygone days And the simple time we lived back when Well, let the pull of the plow Bring the sweat from my brow And the glow of the fire pull me home Let me wind down my days in the sweet dusty haze. Take me back down the old dirt road. So Frankie apparently got stuck in the tree outside. Frankie, there he is. Come on. Ready to go inside? Come on, Franklin. <laughs> to wipe that red lipstick off, it was a little much. My hair is looking like crap <laughs> with the rain, but oh well. No one's over here but me and my mom, so. Um, it is almost dark though. It's like right at 5.30. There are some huge coyotes over here. And they do, they come out right at dark. Some big bear and stuff like that. So I've just been piddling with the fires. Um, put up some more Christmas lights. And uh, probably gonna pull out some salmon or maybe some deer burger for dinner. gonna be in the teens over here and hopefully the roads don't get too bad so anyway stay tuned see what the night has in store for us Merry Christmas Eve ah! Elo just got me so muddy yeah that's great awesome the only thing that's kind of missing is my dad being here I wish he was here and my brother but um, to get a little more in the holiday spirit, I always like to give Elo and Frankie a little gift or a treat or something like that Christmas Eve. For me, like Christmas really all is about Elo and Frankie. <laughs> I'm one of those like crazy pet parents. Alright guys, I found his marrow bone. Alright, here we go. Are you excited? Are you excited? Alright, you gotta sit. <laughs> I'm gonna shake, shake you. Oh my gosh, good boy. Alright guys, <laughs> I've got Frankie in the tobacco room and I'm going to try to put this little Christmas sweater on him. <laughs> I did this last year 
um, for the first time with Frankie and Elo because it was both of their first Christmases. And uh, anyway, I want to just make sure this fits Frankie. And honestly, I just want to see what he looks like. So that's what we're about to do. Gotcha. Let's give this a try. All right, look, you remember this from last year. You remember this from last year. It's okay. Hey, look. You just have to put your head, put your head in there. Good boy. Okay. Now we have to put your arms through and your other arm. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Frankie. Frankie. Oh gosh, she's growling. <laughs> Frankie, it's okay. There. See? You're a little Christmas star. He's gotten so fat, you guys. I should have gotten a medium to put this on. <laughs> Frankie! You're okay. See? Look how cute you look. You're so cute. You wanna go get a treat? Okay. Guys, he's not happy. Come on, Frankie. Come on. Come on, Frankie. He's about ready to knock over this Christmas tree. I know what you're planning. All right, let's go. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> hey, but you need to put on your outfit too. Yeah, it looks good. This is our little Christmas decor outside. We have that tree over yonder and the uh, the pass through right over there, the pass through of the fence right there. And then that strand went out on the fence. So we got the tree and then the, whatever you call that, the archway where you pass through the fence. Then that strand right there on the fence went out and then we got some more and a little tree on the edge of the fence. Just so cute at the farmhouse, but look how cute the farmhouse looks. Love it. It's honestly kind of redneck <laughs> in back country, but I love it. I love it. Well, it's getting a little later. Um, it's raining pretty hard now. I had in my freezer over here, I'm in the kitchen now. Uh, I got this little cast iron skillet today at a vintage shop and it's the perfect size. One filet of salmon is definitely good for us. We're gonna have some cheese, maybe some uh, baked beans, some uh, green beans. I don't know what we're gonna have with this yet. I'm gonna cook this salmon inside the wood stove i'm pretty sure for a little bit maybe then put it up top this is wild caught supposedly i sure miss my fresh fish at the beach but this will have to do so put a little olive oil down on this skillet this is some if you guys have ever been to carabas i don't know if you have a carabas near you but you know they do like the bread and olive oil with the like dipping sauce at Carabas. This is some of that seasoning that they bring out for you to dip your bread in. Don't ask me how I have this. It's a long story, but I feel like this would be a really great flavor on the salmon. So I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of that on top. It's a lot of herbs. And I'm going to put a little bit of this this right here is lemon thyme that is from my garden. From this summer at the beach, I brought it all the way from the Outer Banks to the farmhouse. So I'm just going to kind of wiggle it around and a bunch of the leaves and stuff fall out. I'll put some of that on there. It's good. I mean, I honestly, one ingredient that I do not have, or two that would have been perfect, is uh, brown sugar or honey. Those are absolutely delicious on salmon, but I'm gonna do just a little bit of garlic salt. Such a sharp knife. 
I cannot remember the name of the guy who sent me this, but you're one of my subscribers. You're part of the wolf pack and I can't thank you enough. This thing has come in such handy. I don't even know if that's a saying, but this is um, one of the America's legacy national fishing club, like limited edition knives. I think you sent me a couple knives and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you again. I'm gonna put a few uh, lemon slices on top of this fish. That's what she's looking like so far. I'm going to prepare some, a little appetizer of sorts. If you guys love red pepper jelly, like we can be friends because this is one of my favorite little snacks ever. You take some cream cheese and some red pepper jelly and you get some crackers and you dig in. Like it's so good, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's savory, it's crunchy, it's salty, it's all of it, it's so good. With the Food Lion cream cheese, you can't get any more ritzy than this, folks. <laughs> I got some bagels too at the grocery store, which would be great for um, in the morning breakfast bagels. But for the morning, Christmas morning, I am thawing out some um, deer sausage, which we got from my seven pointer. So this will be for the morning. Not sure how we're gonna prepare it yet. We were talking about maybe doing some um, sausage gravy. So stay tuned for that. It's so exciting. This is a little bit fancy, but it's not because of me. Um, very thankful to say that a friend of ours named Twyla uh, gave us this as a Christmas gift. It's like this wine basket with all this fancy snacks in it. So thank you, Twyla. So you got your cream cheese, your crackers, and then some of this red pepper jelly. Yum. A pretty little appetizer dish. Look at that. And you just take a cracker. And you get some cream cheese. <laughs> the rain right now, I can hear it on the tin roof. And I'll tell you guys what, there are very few sounds that are that good in life, in laugh. So then you dip it in the red pepper jelly. Mm. <laughs> so guys, I just put my salmon in the wood stove, the old fox fire here, and I did add some green beans that were frozen from my garden uh, from this summer, so I'm going to let that cook up. I also got some baked beans just in the can, <laughs> so fancy right there. going to have some baked beans, green beans, and some salmon for dinner. Yes, ma'am. This is my dad back in the day. <laughs> this is, uh, he's got a little three pointer and a turkey. I love that photo. And I have a bunch more here that are just super cool. There's Diva when she was younger. Miss that girl. And look at my mom. She is absolutely gorgeous look at her my gosh well guys the power just went out in the entire farmhouse so yeah now i'm really really reliant on the wood stoves and that's it <laughs> and candles and lanterns i don't know it's not the end of the world but hopefully it does come back on because it is going to be in the teens tonight. 
and it would be nice to have some light. is almost dead but I just took this out of the wood stove just gonna check and make sure it's done oh my gosh look at that that looks so yummy being that the power is out um I think it's time to eat and just go to bed and have a very Merry Christmas. Guys, it's morning. It's about 7 a.m. Christmas morning. Elo's going outside for the first time and he doesn't know that it snowed. So. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all the snow. Look at the snow! He's gonna have zoomies! Zoomy, zoomy, zoomy! <laughs> there he goes! Oh, are you excited, Bubba? We have a white Christmas! Oh, it's so pretty! Mm. <laughs> It's pretty cold too, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look how powdery. Oh my gosh. This is a dream. Look at the icicles. Icicles on the roof. <laughs> it would be a great time to go do some tracking. See what we walking around here at night. Oh, it's so pretty. It's snowing again. I think we're gonna be snowed in here forever. It's like we're in a snow globe. Someone's shaking it up. I just hope the wind doesn't pick up again. <laughs> I, don't think I just hope the wind doesn't pick up again. Well, we know we'll get thawed out tomorrow. It's gonna be 40, isn't it? Yeah. Frankie. What do you think, Franklin? Oh, but the power, I don't even know what time the power came back on. Do you? Was it? It was on at 1. At 1 a.m. I went down and all the lights were lit, but the outside lights. All right, guys, here is my venison sausage. It's pretty spicy, um, so I'm told. I haven't tried it yet, so this will be the first pack. Elo's definitely excited. He loves deer meat. Um, but I'm going to put this inside the wood stove and get it nice and browned and try to add some gravy for sausage and gravy. Elo and I are going for a walk to see if we see any tracks. Why?
got to get real hot to turn into gravy. Guys, look at Elo. He has his Christmas sweater on and he's a raging fireplace with the little what are these called? Stockings? Little stockings and it even has a little mistletoe. He loves oh, it. And it's got the fringe. Yes. Frankie just saw Elo's sweater and this is his reaction. <laughs> what the heck? He's next. <laughs> Okay guys, it is Christmas present time. Present time is Christmas time. <laughs> um, we are about to open up presents. Are you so excited for all of your toys? Oh, I put grandma baby. Open it, open it. It's gonna take a while. Banana Island, <laughs> and it probably floats. Please. Yay! A stuffed bone. It's a stuffed bone. I know. I know. <laughs> this is Frankie's. No, Eva, wait. Now, Frankie, Frankie, these are freeze dried real shrimp. But as you can see, it's a little tight. Everything <laughs> I've bought him so far. He's bulging out of yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> he's gained so much weight. Cause grandma. It looks like he had what was that? He's mm -hmm. here all alone. This is for you, Frankie. This is for you, Frankie, from grandma. What is that? Is it a lantern? Oh my gosh, it's a bird feeder. So you can watch the birds. Exactly. We can hang it out here by one of these trees. I wonder what this could be. <coughs> it needs batteries. Aww. Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> 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 That's the little thing you charge, and then you put it in your pocket right here. Go yeah. ahead and put it in your pocket, and then you turn it on right there. Yee. It's heated, yes. Definitely. Back, Shoulders. Can't wait to put this baby on. What do you think, buddy? It's a lot colder than sand. Yesterday, there was a huge black bear. Can't believe they're still out. It was right there in that patch of trees. And Elo and the bear had a standoff, so I started yelling for Elo as loud as I could to come and not chase it. So the bear took off and ran, but that was a, a thrill. What do you think, Frankie? You guys, it is the day after Christmas, and it is still for rigid outside. Like, my car is so frozen that it won't even unlock and open. The snow that fell Christmas Eve and like Christmas morning is obviously still on the ground. The ground is also frozen. So even if like look at this. It's just solid ice underneath. Underneath the snow. It's just ice, ice, ice. So I really don't think there's any way out of here right now. <clears throat> the weather has been, I think the temperature today is supposed to be 40 degrees. I don't know if that's going to be enough to thaw enough out for us to leave. So, yeah. But right now, I think it's about 10 degrees. Probably somewhere around there. Just defrosted her car a little bit and we're going to try to see how it does. Just driving around the farmhouse and stuff. The ground is frozen solid, but by the grace of God, thank you, dear Lord Jesus, the sun is shining right now. 
which is the first time we've seen the sun in a while. So maybe it'll melt some of this stuff enough to get out. Alright guys, we got out. Um, we're not like out out, we're still on the driveway, but at least my car started. And we're going to head to town and go see my dad and my brother, give them their Christmas presents, get some stuff that we need for the farmhouse, and we might come back uh, tonight. So we're heading out of the driveway, and it is just snow and ice, like solid. But look how pretty. The only sketchy thing is this driveway, there's a huge ravine off here to the left. So we definitely don't want to fall, slide down into there. Ely! Um, and there's a big hill down here. 